Gamers, it's Robo, and we're back with another episode of Pew Pew Time, where I showcase the Airsoft gameplay footage I collect from the Airsoft games I play in. And on this episode of Pew Pew Time, we're going to dive right into part two of my American Milsims Broken Home 5 gameplay series. Now we pick up pretty much right where we left off in part one with TAN forces or UFS forces securing a strategic crossing called Pegasus Bridge where we're told to hold. Now Koss doesn't take too kindly to that and they actually attack us from a built up area down the road that they hold called Colville. Now to respond to those attacks, we obviously send out some patrols to kind of try to stop their advance. So you'll watch how that turns out. Now something for you to keep in mind while you're watching this next footage, and that is you're gonna see a lot of communication going on. And I think it's something that uh, is deeply fundamentally important if you expect to win a gunfight uh, in a dynamically changing environment. And the focus really needs to be on, especially if you hold a leadership position, and that is the processing of incoming information and then the communication or the transfer of that information uh, to your superiors, to your subordinates, and ultimately to yourself uh, in order to increase overall battlefield awareness. And without that strong network of communication, things tend to break down quite quickly. So keep that in mind while you watch this next footage. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think below. Thanks, guys. Hey, you guys have anything that way? Again, this is picking up pretty much where we left off from last time. We're just staging at Pegasus Bridge here. And there's Derek from Mo Guns Tactical. I'll let it down. How you doing? You okay? Good, yeah. Good man. Good Glad to be here. Good, good. I'm just gonna link up with Kaiju to get some orders. You want us over here with you then? Yeah, I want you to link back Corey. up over here. I'm gonna send you up uh do some Corey. probing up the ravine. Okay, oh, Corey. What, what sector are you, you guys? That's Corey or Zero of uh, Nemesis Milsim. They're so. they're just they're just shooting across every time they try and come this way. Alright. You've got from the ravine. 90 degrees. Copy that? Yeah. Nobody went off. Go ahead. Copy that. Blue bus, 100 meters. Hostile. Take it on it. I'm taking all our guys, okay? Hey, Robo, I think point. Roger, hold up, hold up. Hey, D6, I want all of you. We're going to stomp some ass at the blue bus down the street. All D6 on me. Ready to get somebody? So Kaiju's just uh, been informed that the blue bus is under attack down the street, so we're going to head out as a patrol to assist other units out there with holding that ground. So what we're actually going to do here is actually split the unit, uh, one going right of the truck and one going to the left of the road. Parker, get up that wood, buddy. Contacts, 12 o'clock, buddy. By the porta potty, straight out. Two guys, right hand side. Awesome. Got him. Nice shot. Another guy behind the tree, though. Hey, we got a friendly to our right. Yeah, he's on the right-hand side of that uh, that porta potty or whatever. Yeah, it's Ooh, that's fucking... That top log actually wasn't secured and it almost fell off. Hence the expletive. D6, bounce up! Bounce up! Left side, I want you bounding! Yo! Got him. Perfect! Can you... Start bounding up, put pressure on them, all right? Uh, Go, Blue Kaiju, Robo Kaiju. We're in contact at the blue bus. We've got two enemy KIA, one friendly KIA. No, my, not me, him. Uh, and we're we're bounding up as fast as possible. We've got guys on the left and right. We're leapfrogging up, yeah, over. Watch next to that porta putty, right side. Yep. Take a fire on my left. That's Major Parker and Cass of uh, Hood Breed Tactical. Great dudes from Philly. Hit it. Hit it. Cole? Yeah. He doesn't have his medic, he might have been one of mine. Fuck. I'm dead. You're dead, dead? You've had two? No, just one. 
Okay, you got you got one more before. Uh, you don't have a. Yeah, yep. I see him right here. Fuck. Me. I can see him from here. I got a line on it. Where's the guy on the right here, though? Guys on the left, I need you guys pushing! He's in the fucking bus. Yo! Yeah, I need I, yeah, I need heavy pressure. So watch watch that bus, they're in there, alright? Good. Take three or four, dude. Hold it down here, guys. We talk talking to the rest of our boys. Oh, hit. No, I didn't actually get hit there. That was literally the guy that I just ran beside. Uh, he got hit. And there's a marksman out here. And you'll see how close he gets uh, to getting me right here. I gotta say, man, Cole is on point when it comes to medic, man. He r was running his ass off all day. Cole. Cole. Yeah. Are you good for some crazy shit? On me, dude. We're going to these next concretes. And again, I'm just trying to get in touch with as many pieces of our uh, unit that are scattered along this kind of like skirmish line that we've got going on. And just to kind of see where the enemy's at and to get some information back from those guys, what they see and what they've experienced. Hold on, I'm popping smoke. Give me a second. I got one too, dude. Hit! Other pocket. Thanks, bud. You guys okay? Good? You guys good? So we got contact there, contact up there. Uh, right where you see it's sort of clear, they, uh, they got an enemy line there too, okay? Yeah. You good, Hood? Okay. Right back, dude. I'll get you up. Just try my best to do some of more administrational things right now. Uh, get guys who need medics, medics, uh, making sure people are hydrating, reloading ammo, things like that. He's hit. No, no, he's good. He's good. good? Yeah. Cool. That's cool. I need you. Are you safe to get up or I need to smoke out? Okay, I got a, I got a guy that needs medic over here. Cool. No, over this way. Back. Back right over there. Right over there. See him? Cole, the little jackrabbit here, runs right past where he needs to go. It's kind of funny. Right here. Cole, Cole, Cole. Right here. Right here. Yo, between the. There's an MG between the porta potties. Way down to the right of the porta potty. No, he's literally between the, the this guy moving left or right. That wood, sh that white shed, white shed, right hand side. The woodcock was just revived, and he's forgotten to take off his kill rag. So just so you know, he's not dead there. Dead men don't talk. Hold here and push patrols out from this position. I love when Greg gets shot because he fully acts it out when he's dead. So big thumbs up to Greg when he does that. Sorry, buddy. Okay. You're out of. Oh, you're you're dead, dead, dude. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. He's got two on him. He's got two on him. Sorry about that, man. You're good. Yeah, that's our that's our spawn. But I mean, like, so what I'm hearing over comms right now is that we can't break through here. We're gonna go bound back to bound back to Peggy Bridge, set up a uh, perimeter, and let them come to us. Kaiju, uh, as per that no-go on the bus, that's our left flank. We've got a right flank failing on the right-hand side of the road. How copy? Good copy, opposite blue bus, coming up from the valley. Good copy, you want me to give up what ground we have at the bus or just pull my front line guys back from the right hand side? Good copy, good copy. Guys, I need a fire line or base fire story that's covering this blue bus. I gotta pull our, I gotta pull our blue, blue forces back to us, but I need security here. So guys, 
I'm gonna be pulling you guys back to our, our base of fire back here. Okay. Because I guess we're not gonna win this side. They keep coming up is what I'm hearing, right? Yeah, yeah. Focus here is on the blue bus because it's a hard point. But let's get you guys out of here and I'm back on our line. We're gonna, they're gonna start coming in here from both sides, all right? Stone, Stone, I want you on these guys. We're going back to that line that I've got right across the road, okay, bud? So on them. Okay. Zach. T Lance, fall back. Guy straight through there. Kaiju's basically informed us that uh, we're gonna pull our guys back so we can go refit, rearm, uh, just because we've been fighting for a long time. So I'm pulling our guys back to a safe location. They've got a, we've got a line straight across there, Stone. So hang by Cole, right? A couple of them went left out of the bus. Yep. They might be fighting this ravine here. Unsure of it. Uh, we've just been watching reinforcements come in right along the back side of that bus. Roger. All right. It's all our D6 guys. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was where we were. The uh, the rest of what we do is we do a lot of workshops in the in the the winter. So we do like a lot of real world training and shit to see what we can bring over to airsoft. You know what I mean? Because a lot of it doesn't work, honestly. Like, give me a real flashbang and then things change. Uh, you know, give me a, an enemy that has a real fear of fear, fear of death. Things change, but we're it's airsoft. At some point in time, you know, even the most modern of playbooks. You know, cag shit or whatever falls out the window once you get airsoft involved because there's some physiological and technological things that don't transition, right? So, I mean, perfect example is this. Let's say there was guys behind this wall. I can just run in there and take the chance. In the real world, no one would fucking do that. No. Okay? The other thing, too, is I throw a fucking real flashbang in there. When it goes off, those guys are incapacitated for a free shot in the mouth. In airsoft, we don't have those te that technology, right? Yeah, you can get surprised by a Thunderbee, but that doesn't turn your world upside down, no. okay? Doesn't actually fucking scramble your brain for a minute and two. There's limitations, you just gotta gamify this shit, right? Like, take NSW Doctrine, like Navy uh, Special Warfare Doctrine, and find where you can cut the corner for airsoft. So, there you have it, that pretty much takes care of another episode of Pew Pew Time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Coming down the pipes next, I of course still have tons of gameplay for you. Uh, I do still have a couple more videos from Broken Home 5 for you, as well as uh, a series from a Canadian op called Nightfall 5 that happens every year. Uh, in terms of reviews, still have a ton of those things uh, to do for you, as well as some new things coming down the pipes. So as always guys, please do be patient with me. Uh, you always are, you're always very loyal, so I appreciate that, and I will in turn uh, reward that with plenty of content coming down in the near future. So Now as always, I do want to take a quick second to thank my three most awesome sponsors, being Anola Gay Tactics. Smoke Grenades, Red Wolf Airsoft, and Coyote Tactical Solutions. Now, these three companies provide me support in a way that allow me to do more airsoft, but more importantly, bring you guys more gameplay, more reviews, and more philosophies to learn from and enjoy. So big thumbs up to all three of these companies. Please do take a second to visit their websites. They're linked in the description below. Thanks. Now, whether you did or you didn't like this video, this guy still wants to know about it. Drop me a line in the comments below. I love the feedback and the conversation. And if you could do me a huge solid, that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Keeps me happy in this YouTube game. And until next time, guys, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, and defend what you love. Later, guys.